Girl, it feels like every other week I'm talking about Sweetie. Every other week. And I really don't be wanting to. But baby, this SNL performance. <laughs> Miss Mamas. Twerk this for an icy chain is not giving. Miss Mamas. No Miss Mamas. No baby. No baby. This performance signed, sealed, and delivered for me that Sweetie's whole success, claim to fame, everything is built on her being desirable, based on her being a thin, light-skinned woman. That's it. And I'm gonna explain to y'all why I like I hate breaking this down. And like let me just say I don't hate Sweetie. When I have these conversations, it's for us to really like question things, for us to look into things. And it, it really even relates and goes back to even you know, when I talk about with the celebrity children and stuff, not feeling beautiful, black women not feeling beautiful, uh, Sweetie is not talented. She's just not talented. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We keep seeing over and over again. And Sweetie is so desirable. She has so much capital and being desirable that even when she does bad, People come out and protect her from getting criticism for giving a bad performance. What is it? Y'all just don't like her? Yeah, she has a beautiful attitude. What is it? Say a dark skin, baby, shut. No money can get up there, give a half performance, give 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 all her in, all her all in a performance. And and folks, well, her mic wasn't on. It wasn't doing this, it wasn't doing that. I don't know what she's doing. Music, it's been five years. All she's doing is dancing. She ain't really performing. Y'all will eat no money up every time she performs. Every time. Oh, she falling off the charts. The song ain't doing all that. Sweetie can get up there and perform. Give half-ass performance. Have music, nothing. And like it's just, the moment somebody say, well, that wasn't that good. Like, what's going on? The music ain't giving. Y'all a hater. Y'all are so committed to protecting these light-skinned women. Y'all are so committed in, in protecting desirability. That's why I'm interested in tearing all of it down. Y'all are so committed. I wish y'all had an ounce. Just an ounce. Maybe it's time, maybe some of this tiniest mustard seeds in this Thanksgiving. I know y'all gonna be saying grace. I wish y'all gave that energy to protecting dark-skinned black women. I wish y'all gave that energy to protecting dark-skinned black folks, period. Cause y'all don't like y'all just really really don't like every other dark-skinned black woman especially dark-skinned black female rappers do not get this energy at all sweet she's working hard she's working hard. sweetie is not her half of her family is in the music industry the girls are calling her industry plan i don't think she's an industry plan i don't even like using the term but i i think it's a whole bunch of stuff going on. She has the connections. Sis is just not talented. And then so give her some time. Give her some, you know, let her practice. Y'all did this. I'm going to really shake the girls up. Y'all did this. The industry did that same thing with Rihanna. Rihanna was given time, 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 and more time to perfect herself and get. Rihanna can't sing to say. Rihanna cannot sing. They made space for her. The, the, the labels and stuff made space for this. No, we gonna come. We know it's gonna work. So it just y'all y'all are giving more energy, more grace, and more everything to 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 this. Even though it, it might not ever give, but it's just like I know y'all gonna buy it. But you know what? As much as we blame the labels and stuff for pushing these, you know, all these light skin artists in front of us, we are some of us are to blame too. Like like some of us are to blame for that. Because that is what our eyes look at. That's what our eyes, so we have to do the work of just like, no, like, no, I'm not, I'm not interested in that. Because that's what happens. Like, that literally is what happens. Um, and Sweetie's just not talented. She just, I, I, like, her, and people say, well, her attitude is really, really good. Do you know how the folks have a good attitude and, and talents and still are not making it? Like, what is, like, I, I can't. And I was sitting down, down and having a conversation with some respectful folks, and it's like it's just it's sad because once upon a time, like we had a whole bunch of like dark skinned female artists was out here giving it. Like we had Brandy, we had Lauren Hill, we had Missy Elliott, we had all of like it's just like now it's just girl, it's the, I think Instagram has killed that.
I feel like honestly colorism and stuff has gotten even worse to be honest because it, it's so it's showing up so much in visibility online as far as like I'm not so I would not be surprised in 10 15 20 years from now we do a lot of studies and we talk about how harmful because it's already talked about now how harmful Instagram and Twitter and all these other places are that we like it's just it's just we're submersed in des like desirability like it's so bad I hate being on Twitter like I hate like every other week it's oh um, height, um, um, astro astrology sign or something. It's just like girl, it's just everything. Like it's just pictures, 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 and it's the same looking folks getting the most retweets. I'm tired. I'm just tired. I'm really, really. I just, I just need to breathe. Uh, but and it's like, sweetie, it's not telling. And I would honestly tell, I would tell her to her face, and I let. Her, I know that's right. That's something I need her to say. It doesn't mean she's a bad person. It doesn't mean that she deserves to be hated or anything. It just deserves to be a conversation. And I think that, you know, she needs to admit that. Like, oh, I'm going to artist camp. I'm not. You, How do you go and become a... Like, you're supposed to come and bring it. Like, you, how are you putting out music and stuff, like, publicly like this? And it's trash every time. And the performances ain't given. Like, it's just... <laughs> you will do it. Like, who... Oh, just give me some time. <laughs> who else is getting time like this? <laughs> Nobody. Like, I just... I don't get it. I don't get it. But, you know, moving on swiftly professionally, let's talk about it. Uh, girl, speaking of all this, I want to tone it down just a little bit talk about this whole situation with Kevin Durant. I think that's his name. It's been a lot of basketball drama that's going on. Um, Kevin Durant, I think his name, girl, is he with the, you know, they was dragging his ashy legs or something? Oh, yeah, girl. They they was on him. Um, they was on Kevin Durant and his legs. They, they was eating the legs up, child. Um, he was in the game last night. Baby, and he had them little shorts or something on, and his ankles was looking, they were looking mighty ashy, and Twitter ate him up like they were eating him alive, and he responded, he said, he said, y'all, I'm so quick to tell y'all, y'all broke, <laughs> on Twitter, like, uh, now, I love a good roast, I love a good, like, check, I love a good, like, but, uh, as a person who has eczema who deals with like dry skin and all the other stuff, I do my best to make sure that I'm moisturizing and all the other stuff, but I know sometimes it doesn't work for everybody. Some people have severe eczema. Um, it's babies that be having very, very severe eczema. I don't know what is going on with Kevin Durant, but that looked kind of serious. I'm not interested in clowning Kevin Durant. I'm going to say this because I thought we learned our lesson with the situation with Chadwick Boseman. I know I did. I know I did. Um, to be careful when we're commenting on someone like like in that type of situation because you never know what they're going through. And that's that Kevin Durant comes out next week and said that he's been dealing with some issue and he hasn't been able to talk about it publicly um, because he doesn't want to lose endorsements or anything or fall out the league or something like that. Maybe, what if it's something that he is very ashamed of, something that's very, you know, he's been getting medical treatment for and it's just not helping? Like, what if it's something built, like, bigger than him just putting on some CeraVe or some, some lotion or some what, aloe vera? Like, what if it's more than that? Then, you know, we'll be out here, oh my gosh, it's some, it just seems like sometimes that we're reactive. We're reactive instead of, I don't know the word before, <laughs> reactive, like, proactive. Like, it's just, why don't we just, you know, like, hey, girl, get some, like, I don't know, just leave it alone. I don't know. I don't know. That's a question I really have, because I'm just not interested in dog, like, laughing and getting laughed at, you know, because I just don't know. I just don't want it to be a situation where it's something serious, and then it's like, we should have shut up. We should have shut up. So, uh, but he was, he was kind of pissed about it. But they've been, they've been clowning Kevin Durant for a minute, uh, from his hairline to all that other stuff. And it's no mistake that Kevin is a um, darkest skinned man um, who doesn't really, like traditionally, um, fit desirability looks. Like his, you know, he's tall and thin, but um, he, you know, I don't know, girl. Sometimes you're really, really tired of talking about like how we treat folks. I mean, it's just, it's just, mm, cause everybody don't get it. I don't know. But, you know, laugh away. Let's get our jokes. Let's get our jokes. And that's all that matters. Um, period. Let's move on to talk about Adele. I really want to talk about Adele very quickly um, because I want you all to subscribe to my Patreon to get it because the content I'm about to put out about Adele 
It's, it's about to give. Um, the treatment of Adele since her weight loss is very, very interesting. Very, very, and I've been kind of shying away from it, not talking about it too much, but Adele is everywhere. And the way she's being talked to, the way they're portraying her, like the way they're you know, photographing her from these interviews and all this other stuff, it's just, it's a lot going on. And I have been thinking about it since she's for a month or so now. Now, I've watched her interview with Oprah. And she talked about, you know, her weight loss a little bit. She didn't talk about it way too much. She talked about it just a little bit. Um, and, you know, there were some fat folks, you know, they were saying that she felt, they felt let down by her. Um, and it's really sad that Adele was supposed to be this fat activist when she didn't ask for any of this. She didn't ask to be, you know, the advocate for fatness or and all that other stuff. But it was, the weight was put on her. Put on her. Um, I think Adele should have autonomy over her body and do whatever she wants to do, lose weight, gain what she does, whatever. But what I'm interested in how the world treats her. Adele has always been very beautiful. She's always been that. But you can tell from the portraits of her a long time ago, um, early in her career and stuff, how they it was given very much face. Adele was very much face. They never they do the same thing when they do with fat folks like Editorials is they always like they sit did the same thing with Lizzo. They do little things to cover up their bodies, like they're giving them a big blanket or something to take a picture of. They did it to Lizzo, they did it to Adele, but now Adele's her, her photo shoots are far like it's showing whole body, like it's giving neck, like all the other stuff. Like you can just tell, and like even how people they don't want to say it, but the how people are engaging, they love the fact that Adele has lost weight. I think Adele's weight weight loss. I know Adele's weight loss has given her more visibility on both sides, it is because Adele probably feels more confident now. That I think her confidence is stronger than it was originally because she knows that the world does not like fat folks. She knows that. Like fat people know that. So she feels way more confident than she did. And also, um, how people are anti-fat and how they look at it like, oh, okay, this is what we always wanted to see. Like, yes, girl, you had a voice. Like, you've always had a voice. You've always had a voice, but it was it was on a fat body, a body that we were not interested in. So we put you in a little box. We like you, girl, but now we can like you even more because you fit our, like, you fit our eyes. Like, you do something for our eyes now. And it's, it really says a lot. And it's something I've been thinking about. And then... We'll, we'll see this and then we'll question why black women are getting BBLs and doing all this other stuff. Like, we'll question why folks are getting, you know, lipo and all that stuff. Because y'all are very, very harmful to like fat folks. Like, how we treat fat folks, how we deny fat folks of just, just themselves, of just, just basic human rights. Like, I'm not surprised folks are out here on the surgeries and stuff. Like, we, oh, y'all ain't getting BBL, BBL. When y'all have created a world that does not that rewards folks for looking a certain way, why not? Why not? So it's, it, it's, I've been noticing that with Adele, and I'm gonna talk about it more um, on Patreon, because I feel like it's a safer spot to talk about it, but <sighs> I just wanna give y'all a little bit of my synopsis on it, so. Mm. So let's talk about Wendy Williams. Um, there's been a lot of conflicting and reports about Wendy Williams and what was what is going on with her. There's been reports that she's confined to a wheelchair. There's been um, reports of her dealing with early signs of dementia, all of these things. And I I don't like it. I don't like the conversation around it. I've honestly been paying attention and seeing Wendy kind of deteriorate over some time. And it's made me actually nervous about even myself because there are moments where I'd be forgetting stuff and all the others of my dad say it's probably because be a lot of stuff jumping around in my head. But that's a real thing. Dementia is a real thing. It happens to people. Um, there's even tests like to, to, to kind of catch the early signs and stuff. I'm hoping that's something that Wendy Williams is not dealing with. Her brother has came out and said that this, the rumors are not true. Um, blah, 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 blah. But I do think it's something serious going on with Wendy Williams. And I hope that she's getting the health and, and the wellness that she needs to, you know, do the things that she wants. I do think that it is time to go ahead and call the Wendy Williams show quits. I think that the powers that be are just just waiting to extrapolate 
even more from Wendy. And Wendy Williams has nothing else to give. She has nothing else. Um, and I just think that it's just time for her to just rest and enjoy her life. Um, I was I'm listening to a short clip of, you know, some folks, and they were just talking about her, just like she, nah, she's just like they were reporting it as if they were glad to see that. And I'm just like, girl, you better hope and pray that nothing ever happens to you because the way Cardi B is pressing them, that, 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 um, that, 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 that stuff on you, pressing lawyers on you, you better hope that she don't sue the brakes out off of you. And folks don't make fun of you. Like, girl, like, I just don't understand. Like, I really don't get it at all. Like, I really just don't get it. Um, there's nothing to laugh about. There's nothing to joke about. I don't want to laugh at nobody being sick like that. You know, Wendy Williams, who's not caused any physical harm to anybody or whatever. Like, I ain't got no problem with folks holding people accountable, like, when it comes to these politicians that were responsible for war crimes and all that other stuff. But Wendy Williams, a couple of her crack jokes and a couple of her other stuff. You know, it ain't out here the same as somebody out here, um, you know, doing stuff around the world and harming folks, brown folks across the globe. Um, but yeah, so I'm hoping Wendy Williams get that. I don't know if y'all have seen it, but it's been a couple of them. Some folks have reported it, Scott reported it, uh, and it's just like, girl, we're we hearing some stuff, but I'm hoping it's not true. I'm hoping that Wendy Williams is. You know, just taking some time, but I do think she needs to, like, continue on, you know, and just leave the Wendy Williams show alone. So, I wanted to talk about, ooh, girl, it's a couple things I wanted to end on real quick. I want to talk about the Rittenhouse thing a little bit, just to give y'all a taste of what I'm doing on Patreon. Um, I was told, my friend, she said, please, just leave it alone. I mean, I have to say it. Um, the whatever we want to call the American justice system that is very anti-black and upholds white supremacy is going to do just that. Um, somebody made a joke and said the judge should just, you know, say court adjourn. Instead of just saying that, they should just say white power. I mean, they do in so many ways. Um, like, there are multiple trials going on holding, trying to hold folks accountable for the harm they have done to, uh, like, to people, like, specific folks, black folks. You got the Ahmaud Arbery case going on, and you got the, the folks are just simply lying, just just crafting their own narrative, and just trying to create doubt to the jury. And it, it's like the, it's just the way they even talk about like blackness on that. It's just it is by design, by design. So we like it's just like this. This is why abolitionists are saying this system needs to end because you see even when oh justice needs to happen like oh my gosh it's just you would never get it does that sound like something you want then you'll never get it you'll never get it because this system is it's going to protect itself within like these judges baby are here by design protecting white supremacy and it's so ingrained that folk like we expected at this point oh like no this man was able to go out and do all of this and nothing happened like nothing happened he was out here to do all of this and it was just like oh he's free like it's just this is by design this is by design so that's all i have on there i'll talk about that more on patreon child but that's that's what it's giving um talk about the grammys a little bit um let me pull up and pull up and see who got me some grammys who didn't get some grammys um let's see some you know i don't care about black folks record of the year um uh, abba John, ba um, Jam John Baptiste, Tony Bennett, Lady Gaga, uh, Justin Bieber, Brandi Carlisle, jo Doja Cat, Bieber, Idris, Lil Nas X, Olivia Rodrigo, Silk Sonic. Um, a couple albums of the year. Um, you got Lil Nas X, you got Kanye West, Doja Cat, um, another black folks on there. Hmm, this is interesting. Song of the year. You got Alicia Keys, her. Billy Eilish, she's not black, but I'm going to mention her. Silk Sonic, Lil Nas X, and uh, Justin Bieber. That's interesting. Best New Artist. Whoo, you got Sweetie on here. I don't see how Sweetie is mentioned on any Best New Artist. I don't see how that... I don't see. Um, I don't see that at all. Um, I don't... I think um, Jasmine Sullivan was nominated for something. I can't find, I think Jasmine Sullivan for Hotel. What do y'all think about Hotels? I thought she was some, there was some cute songs on there. It was some definitely some cute songs. Some folks didn't like the overall project, but I think it was good. 
for Jasmine Sullivan. I love it. Um, somebody said her going to sweep the Grammys. <laughs> she going to sweep. Um, I don't know. I don't really pay attention to the Grammys that much like that. I really don't. I don't. So it's interesting seeing seeing this list, you know, and just, you know, trying to get hopeful, but just knowing how the outcome is going to be when, you know, a couple of months from now when people who deserve do not get the recognition. Um, but it is what it is. I mean, you even saw what happened in the AMAs last night when um, they had Doja Cat as R&B. Doja Cat does not make... That album was not R&B. It was very much pop and probably a little sprinkle here, but it was very pop, like rap. And I, I like just put Homegirl and pop. I don't understand it, but y'all want to make sure y'all give her something because y'all know she's definitely deserving. But Doja Cat is very versatile. She can do a lot, and she's very good at what she does. Very talented. Uh, so, girl, we'll see Miss Grammys 2022, honey. But that's all I got. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all enjoying y'all week, enjoying y'all Thanksgiving. Because you know Thanksgiving Struggle Place is coming soon, soon, and very soon. So, y'all know to find me. Send me your Struggle Place, honey. Um, send them to me on Instagram. DM them to me on Instagram. Send them to me on Twitter. Email them if you have to. Um, just send them to me. Get them to me. And girl, because I'm going to drag because I've already been taking screenshots. <laughs> Until next time, I'll talk to y'all later tonight. Bye.